We rolling? You guys are right back? Okay, thanks. Now, the South Australia Police are currently working closely with the Queensland Police uh, to locate and apprehend um, South Australian man Alan Hopkins. Alan Hopkins, 44, is currently wanted in South Australia for serious sexual offending against a person under the age of 18 years. Alan Hopkins is described as being 185 centimetres tall. Um, he has a solid build, brown hair, brown eyes, um, and also has a, a, a skull uh, tattoo uh, on his right arm. Hopkins was observed at an eastern suburbs of Bottle Shop um, on the, um, in Adelaide on the 2nd of May. On the 3rd of May, he was observed at a pharmacy and in the area of Millicent in South Australia. And at this time, he was driving a Mazda BT50 utility, uh, which has been previously published. On the 4th of May, he was in Victoria and is now currently wanted for allegedly fleeing a roadside intercept. On the 6th of May, his vehicle was on the Barrier Highway in New South Wales and subsequently Hopkins is now being sought by the Queensland Police for offending in that state. I believe that offending is not of a sexual nature. Police believe that he may be in South East Queensland and investigations are currently underway and we are in support of Queensland Police. His vehicle, which is the Mazda BT50 Ute, has been recovered in Queensland. Police believe he may be in South East Queensland and investigations are underway. Um, into his current mode of transport. Police are seeking members of the public uh, to contact the police either on 13144 or 000 in an emergency uh, if they see Mr Hopkins. Members of the public are advised not to approach him and to call police immediately. Hopkins was previously convicted of child sex offences which has been widely reported. As a result, Hopkins is monitored under the South Australian Child Sex Offender Registration Act. There are details that have been published on the South Australia Police webpage as what, um, Hopkins is currently a wanted child sex offender. This is done to ensure that the community is advised um, of monitored child sex offenders um, whose whereabouts are not known. The South Australia Police are in contact with the number of victims that have been left in the wake of Mr Hopkins' activities and we will continue to speak with them and provide them updates as we go. Does anyone have any questions, please? How many victims are there? In, in what way? In the, in the current, um, so he's wanted, is there just one victim that he's wanted for over for the sexual offending at the moment or have there been other sexual offences that have occurred? Okay, so he's wanted in relation to uh, sexual offending in relation to a, a person under the age of 18. And where did that occur? In South Australia. When? When? Um, uh, it's around early May to, uh, this year. Is that person known to him? Oh, I'm not going to go there. Is that a rape? Sorry? Was Serious that, sexual offending. Was it a rape? Serious sexual offending. What's the nature of his offending in Queensland and when was that? Yeah, I can't comment on the nature of the offending in Queensland, um, uh, but what I can say is that once apprehended, regardless of his location in, this, in South Australia, then we will extradite him back to South Australia to face the charges here which has been approved. And did the Victoria Police obviously have contact with him on May 4 and he fleed that roadside intercept? Yes. The, you've mentioned the number of victims that you are in contact with. Mm -hmm. Can you mention anything about the nature of the other offences that those people are victims of? Okay, so if you have a look at uh, Hopkins' uh, uh, history, which is widely reported, we have previous offences that occurred over a decade ago and then the more recent offences on which he's wanted now. We're in contact with both sets of families. Can you say where he was observed on the Barrier Highway in New South Wales? Uh, just at Barrier, Barrier Highway in New South Wales. Is the child a female or male? Um, not going for it. And can I ask, is the victim someone whose family he was working for? Perhaps he was providing a landscaping service to them? Yeah, I'm not going to comment on that, I think so. Was the roadside intercept in Victoria set up specifically to try and catch him, or was it a coincidental road stop? Uh, once again, no comment. Thanks. Have you received um, a lot of information from the public since you made the appeal on Monday? Yeah, the public has been really helpful, and um, we encourage everyone to contact the police if you um, if they cite uh, Mr. Hopkins or have any information as to where he may or may not be. Is that the um, spotting that you Millicent? Was that from a member of the public? Um, 
Yeah, so we, we engage with local people in, in, in Millerton and uh, they've been very helpful with our inquiries. It was reported, obviously, that uh, when he went through the Eastern Suburbs drive through that there was a child or person in the car. Is that correct and was that the victim? No comment. What charge is he facing in regards to the early May offending? Is it aggravated indecent assault or is mm -hmm. it rape? There's a big difference. Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, but we're going to say serious sexual offending, child under the age of 18. How did you come to learn about this alleged serious sexual offending? Did the victim report it? The family report it? Yeah, it was reported to police, and obviously the investigations occurred from there. Do you know who, are you able to say who reported it? Yeah, not at this time. Thank you. And, and I did say right at the beginning, this is a very sensitive investigation. Uh, we've got people whose lives are, you know, are significantly impacted by the, act, the activities of Hopkins. Mm -hmm. It's incumbent on us to protect them and to protect their identity. So if I'm providing com uh, answers which may be not answering what you're saying, it's because we really need to protect the victims in this matter. Yeah, you may not be able to answer this also, but how is the victim going at the moment? Like how are they obviously being supported by police, by family? What's, yeah. How are they? So, so um, uh, the victims of the behaviours of Alan Hopkins obviously will leave lifelong scars. Um, we, our role in this is to provide as much support to them as possible for them to be able to um, seek justice uh, in the current system that we have. The, um, obviously all support is being provided to the victims um, to enable them to be able to deal with the, act, um, the, uh, the activities of Hopkins. Since he was released from prison, did, uh, has there been any other offending that has occurred or is this the first time he's come to police attention? Yes, yeah, so this is the first first time of offending of this nature, yes. Can you talk us through what happened when he's sentenced? Um, and did, was he deemed a high-risk offender? Was he subject to an extended supervision order? And if so, when did that lapse? Yeah, so the, um, obviously he was sentenced by the court, which is, which is fine. There's an extended supervision order. I don't have the dates on that. Um, he was also, um, I suppose, monitored under the Child Sex Offender Registration Act in South Australia, where he is required to report to police yearly with regard to his situation and contact which has been which he has been doing and we have been doing that but what were the terms of the eso yeah i don't have them in front of me at the moment and is he currently subject to an eso or has that just lapsed so he's not current he's not subject to an a, a, a extended supervision order at the moment but he is subject to the conditions of the child sex offender registration act which we say that he is breached so therefore that's why we've published his image and his details on the south australia police website where you can go for wanted child sex offenders who are currently outstanding. Was there any kind of attempt made by you know the Attorney General to extend that extended supervision yeah, order? Yeah, I can't have any information on that. Since his car has been recovered in South East Queensland, to what I understand, do you believe he's on foot or what? Yeah, the mode of transport is being investigated and that's currently with the Queensland Police. Do you think people are helping him? Does he know, does he have ties to Queensland? I, I, once again, I don't know because uh, that's not subject to my inquiry. What's your message to him if he sees this report? So, so if, uh, obviously, if, if, if Alan sees this report, um, the message is to hand yourself into the closest police station um, to, and that way um, uh, we can safely apprehend you and also place you in front of the court so these matters can be heard. So as far as you're aware, no ties to South East Queensland? Uh, I have no comment to make about the Queensland investigation. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.